Hello again, everybody. I am Eric, and this is Headlocks and Hot Packs. And on the menu today, you can see we have some loose packs of 1990 Tops football. These, uh, despite these dollar tags, I got these for a quarter a piece. As you can see, they're a little bit like beat up, so I wouldn't be shocked if the cards are dinged up a little bit. But again, that's uh, what you get for a quarter a piece. Talk the guy down because they are a little beat up. So pick these up from the indoor flea market. I haven't really had any luck at uh, Target since going back to our big haul of 1920 hoops premium stock and then some prism football and prism basketball draft picks so we got 10 packs to get into today probably will be a fairly quick video we've got 15 cards per pack there and then it says one stick of gum i don't feel any gum in here so i'm okay so i didn't notice this before so this has been searched and I really wish I would have seen that prior to. Fortunately, um, <clears throat> there's really no great rookies in here. Uh, Emmett Smith made his way into Tops Traded. So the best rookie out of the regular 90 Tops is going to be Junior Seau. Uh, and then there's a couple of other lesser names. I really wish I would have noticed that before. But thankful that I talked the guy down to a quarter a piece. So basically, we are just star searching. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, and there's 16 cards in here. So yes, these are 100% searched. Uh, well, that kind of sucks, but with that being said, let's see what we can find. Like we said, there's not any amazing draft picks or rookie cards in here, so I don't know. I don't really know what somebody would be searching for. There's Roger Craig. First one we saw was a Blair Thomas rookie card. He was a real flame out. And here is a look at the back. I'm sure people have seen these before. <clears throat> so some of the other rookies in here. There's a Jeff Alm rookie. Not one that we would be looking for. Uh, some of the other rookies are going to be Jeff George. They're Lawrence Taylor. That's pretty nice. And actually these are in pretty decent shape too. So... Uh, Ken Norton Sr., that is actually one of the rookies I was just about to mention. Ken Norton won Super Bowls with the Cowboys and the 49ers. So we will, uh, let's pile these up on the side here. So we can start laying some of the decent stuff down on the table. So Ken Norton rookie card, that was one of them. The others would be uh, like Jeff George, Cortez Kennedy... Uh, and here is our insert set. This is the Thousand Yard Club. I don't think I've ever actually seen these before. Yellow border and uh, a glossy finish there. There's Otis Anderson. I'm familiar uh, with the Thousand Yard Club cards from like 88 tops. But uh, again, I've never seen those before. So kind of reminds me of, um, <clears throat> what was it, 2020... Was it 2020 Donruss Baseball had, uh, or maybe it was Tops? I can't remember. One of the 2020 baseball releases, here's the rest of the stack, um, had a Dollar General uh, Yellow Border Parallel exclusive. That's what that insert reminds me of. Anthony Carter, checklist, and then Paul Gruber is the final one there. So these, like I said, despite them being searched, we found um, Lawrence Taylor in there, so I'll take that. I'm sure that probably, the fact that these are searched probably lowers my chances of finding a Barry Sanders card, maybe, because as we've said, I do collect uh, Barry Sanders. I got a Barry Sanders binder started, and a Tom Brady binder started. Pretty low amount on both of them, but just kicking it off. Here's our next Thousand Yard Club. It's Greg Bell. I do not recall him at all. We've got Willie Galt, Greg Montgomery, Kevin Green. Rest in peace to Kevin Green. Set him in the decent pile. There's Cornelius Bennett. He had a solid career, mostly with the Bills. He also played for 
the Falcons as well. Oh boy, should I try to pronounce this name? Ralph Moja Mosajenko. Probably close. Maybe. I don't know. I might have butchered that. Brent Jones is another rookie card there. Doesn't say that it's a rookie, but it indeed is. It is his first Tops card. You can see he was a uh, five year vet by that point, so kind of an unusual rookie. Actually, we'll separate that because I don't know how many, many of these rookies we're going to uh, come across. Here's pack two Dexter Carter rookie card, Duran Cherry. And then there is John Stevens for the New England Patriots. That is a basically a team highlight card. That's it for pack number two. I want to start getting into some uh, 89 football as well for uh, to search for Barry Sanders rookies as well as uh, Dion Sanders and Troy Aikman. I do have the um, 89 Pro Set Sanders rookie, which I actually pulled from a pack out of a Walgreens uh, like Prime Pack box, so that was pretty cool. Webster Slaughter, Thousand Yard Club insert there. <clears throat> Phil Sims, team highlight card. Mark Spindler, rookie to Manoa. Here is Sam Mills, who had a nice career, most notably for the Carolina Panthers. Marcus Allen, another Hall of Famer. He goes in my Hall of Fame binder. And again, despite the packs not being in the best shape, the uh, cards actually look pretty good, which is surprising. And Jack Del Rio, most known as his, for his time as a coach, uh, more specifically with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Ugh, I definitely need to wash my hands after touching these grimy packs of 90 tops football here. <clears throat> Coming up, we'll have... Uh, we're going to be partying like it's 1999 in our next couple videos. We have, there's a Steve Atwater super rookie. I'm not sure. I think that might actually be his rookie card. So decent, but not something that I'm really looking for. Anthony Miller. Uh, we got a retail box of 1999 Fleer Tradition football that we're going to be going through. Morton Anderson. And then Henry Ellard, 1,000 yard club insert. Uh, so hopefully, 99 is kind of a sketchy year to buy cards, Chris Dolman All Pro, at this point, because um, they're very susceptible to being stuck together. So we'll give that a whirl, and we also are going to do a set break. Actually, I don't know, is it called a break if I'm just opening it for myself? I don't know if that's the case. Maybe, maybe not. But uh, we're going to be breaking open a set of 1999 Topps Baseball, Warren Moon. Put him down, Tony Eason. Actually, let's move these so we have a little less glare there. Uh, that one, I'm almost positive, is going to be stuck together. I might have to... Another Greg Bell there. And Bo Jackson is a nice one. So some good names in here still, despite the fact that these were... I don't know. I was going to say, maybe they weren't searched, but... And Jerry Rice, All-Pro. Another nice one to add to my retired stars piece, uh, binder PC. I mean, they all, of course, they're searched because uh, there's no gum in there. <clears throat> if the gum was still in there and there was tape on here, then, you know, you can see... You can see some of the gum stain here. But, um... If they would have kept the gum in here then, and taped them back together, probably nobody would have ever known. Because sometimes the uh, wax does fall off, so it's possible that somebody had taped them back on. Here's a nice insert that doesn't go in my berry binder, because that's just for berry base. A lot of bees there. But the Thousand Yard Club Berry Sanders insert, and this one is just pretty clean too. There you can see a slight little something or other on that corner on the back. And uh, you can't really see it on the front. So a pretty sweet Barry Sanders 1,000-yard club insert there. 
as we keep moving along halfway through now Bruce Matthews again we got some repeats Eddie Murray not to be confused with the Hall of Fame baseball player Mark Murphy kind of looks like uh, Mark Herslick in that picture a little bit Howie Long the Hall of Famer Broderick Thomas there is was that Tony Bratton I think that was Reggie Langhorn Terry Taylor not the Red Rooster for you wrestling fans Al Baker and then Darren Como so again we're finding some good names <clears throat> And uh, no sign of the Junior Seau rookie, which is the best one in my opinion. I mean, I don't, I don't think any of the other rookie cards in 90 tops have uh, have an argument. I might have to look into the traded set to get that Emmett Smith, Richard Johnson thousand yard club. I have never heard of Richard Johnson in my life. Andre Tippett, good one for my Pat's binder. I'll set him down there. Double Decker by Oliver and Williams. I'm not sure who either, either of them are. Ernest Gibbons, Leonard Griffin, uh, Mike Lansford. He looks like, um, go back and look at very, very early pictures of Razor Ramon, Scott Hall, in his career from like the AWA. He had the mustache like that. That's what that reminds me of. Sean Jones with a printing speckle on his nameplate. Bobby Brister. Vysek Ahema, Andre Reed, he had a nice career. Dennis Gentry, and then Mike Munchak, another guy who's known more for uh, his coaching days. We've got three packs remaining here. So thanks for tuning in to today's video. Another Greg Bell, Thousand Yard Club. Somebody kind of stuck to the front of him there. Not really, though. Third time seeing that one. Here is Zordich. Looks like he's tackling uh, Chris Carter there. Chris Carter in his Eagles days. Uh, but yeah, thanks. We always appreciate everybody tuning in to our videos. There's another Bo Jackson. Bo knows yardage. Nice one. Nate Odoms. <clears throat> So all we ask for tuning in to these videos, Randall McDaniel, is to hit that thumbs up button, Jim Lachey, all pro. And uh, if you haven't subbed to the channel yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe, or smash that sub button as they say, because we've got so much content here on Headlocks and Hot Plaques, lots of hot plaques, hot packs, lots of video games. It's been a while since we've done anything on the headlocks side of our channel name, reason being I've pretty much run out of room in the in the wrestling room for more stuff. Mervin Fernandez, Thousand Yard Club. And another Barry Sanders, rushing leaders. Barry with the Nigerian nightmare there, Christian Okoye. So, oh, what is this? Something stuck to the front of it. Not sure what that is. So there's actually like a slight ding there, but that's okay. I'm not super concerned about that. A new berry for my berry binder. And then, I think that's James Hasty. Let's see here. Doesn't list his name on the back. I'm pretty sure that's James Hasty. As we hit our final pack here, like I said, pretty quick rip with just 10 packs, but um, still 150 cards, or actually more than that. I didn't count the amount of cards in every pack, but uh, we had 16 in that first one, so maybe whoever searched them put that extra one in there in lieu of the old gum. Another Barry Sanders, nice glossy thousand Yard Club insert. There's a Keith McCants rookie, Mike Malarkey. Lots of guys in here that uh, end up becoming coaches. Freeman McNeil. Second time seeing that Jerry Rice there. He's got a very slight ding on the top left corner. That will go in my dupes pile. Keep keep the other one up top there for uh, Reggie White All Pro. Very nice. So even though I'm not going to find the Seau, it looks like, Seth Joyner. 
and then Mike Shad or Shad, last one there. Didn't find the junior Seau, but um, came across the Ken Norton rookie and Brent Jones. Let's focus down on what's on Le Tabla there. Came across that one. A couple of nice Bo Jackson. We got Warren Moon. A couple of Barry Sanders, which is pretty cool. And uh, Marcus Allen. So a few Hall of Famers. A couple of the rookies. And even a new uh, Andre Tippett for my Pats binder. So um, at $2.50, I would say that was pretty good. Uh, you might disagree. If you do, let me know in the comments. Or if you liked it, let me know that as well. And uh, like I said, we've got some 99 football and baseball coming up next. Those will be our next box openings. So again, thanks for tuning in to Headlocks and Hot Picks. Hot Picks, Hot Packs. I'm all over the map today. And uh, we will see you again real soon when I can talk more clearly.